so what we have here is the tent itself what comes in the package right so you've got the tent is in there with the um the separate inner and the fly sheet obviously it all it all came in the bag together but i like to separate it because i don't use them pegs so you get the two poles two aluminium poles because they're quite well made they seem like dac poles but i don't think they are they're just aluminium but they are quite strong they feel a lot better than them fiberglass poles you get and you get these I think they're called shepherd's crooks pegs there's obvious reasons i mean they're, they're all right they're, they're good enough and they will hold they will hold it down the light is out you know they're only 164 grams them so the tent in the bag with the fly sheet that's 1653 grams 1 1.6 kilos the poles came in at 472 470 grams for the two poles and the bag and the other pegs were 164 so the total is 2.29 kilos so it's about the same weight as a, um, a solo to be fair i use my own pegs like i say which i think they're a little bit heavier the ones i've got i'll get spikes but that's what's in the bag that's what you get in the bag Now let's go and test it out in the field. So let's go outdoors next. Or Gonex. Gonex or Gonex. Don't know. Gonex sounds better. Might be familiar with it, might not be. Yeah. It's a um, dome tent, two poles. Weighs about two kilos. Everything's in there, like the poles and the pegs. The pegs are them shepherd's crook things that I've like them, so I brought my own pegs. I've brought them just for illustration purposes. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set it up. Yeah, they just put it underneath there, a little clip, just put it under that, pull that, another one here, just guide them up, get it nice and tight. Pull that. Peg. They tie the guy lanes on like that's the only thing. I suppose that's a hardship, isn't it really? There you go. Zip. Oh, it's huge in here. Look at this. It's massive. Get in. 
you got a, a clip for you for your light these things here there's like a net another bit of mesh which goes clips on there it's just like a storage mesh but thing pockets one on that side the other door there I'll open that later it's all right like it feels thick enough it's all seam sealed that feels all right that right, the, thing, the thing is you can do with this is unhook that and roll that back as well i'll do it yeah right i'll do it Tie it there. That's all right. I'll just pop the valve. There you go. You can have it right open like that. That's nice, isn't it? There. Same on the other side. So you have the other side open, and then you can have all that air flowing through. We'll see what it's like for condensation. Like, that's it though. I'm inside with all the flies. Like, that's my view. Oh, they turned. I like it. I'm going to open this door as well. Get a bit of air coming through. But this, this is the uh, mesh net. But there's a, there's a tag missing off there. I can't hook it up. The tag's missing. That's a that's a zero mark. That's points off that like. Because I, I could imagine that'd be quite handy, wouldn't it? Just hang, just put your light or your lantern in there or whatever. Just stick anything up there. But without the tag, it's pretty much useless. Oh, never mind. Can't win everything. Right, so I worked out that uh, these are the these are the guy rope guy now points. So that's it's a two minute job just to it's just a hitch knot in there. And we've got tie backs on. So you tie the doors back. Got both doors open now. And lots, of, lots of air coming through. These are the pegs you get. They're quite light. I mean, they're, they're all right. These pegs. They're light enough, but uh, no, I just like using the alt kit spikes. I prefer my spikes. It's just my preference. A little bag. The bag for the poles is in there. And that's the that's the brand. So all in all, it feels quite good. This out fly this fly sheet material is like a, um, what you would get on a double D top. Um, I'm presuming it's waterproof. I don't know what the hydrostatic head is, it didn't say. Let's just hope I don't have to find out the hard way. I don't know what the ground sheet is either. I'll have to I'll have to find out and I'll put them in the description I want to find out the, the details like that. Just look in the description. But I like that feature of tie the doors back. I like that mint lad. This is really airy coming through there, it's lovely. And with the guy lines on and tied out, staked out, it's Solid like, feels very sturdy. Mm -hmm. Quite like it. It's, uh, I mean, I'm a tent freak, you know, so I'm gonna like any tent really. But uh, it's quite nice. I'm loving the two doors. Stiker, two door stiker. Same thing. There's no vestibule, there's no porch. I suppose if you if you close them, it was pulled out, wasn't it? So there will be a little cooking area there at the front. I'll show that later when I close the doors up. 
So I'm sitting up in the tent and I've got stacks of headroom. I'm five foot eleven and a bit. And I'm sitting on the mat here as well. Sitting on the mat. Mat for scale. There's enough to do for two people in here, definitely. Definitely two man. The zips are a bit see through. Oh, I don't know if that's meant to be like that. Stitching seems alright. Yeah, but we've got all that space. That's my foot. It's a shame about that mesh thing. That would have been quite handy, that. It was a good idea, that. The zips have got, uh, they haven't got pullers, they've got the, uh, um, which can get in the way, like, it seems, it seems quite well made, well put together. I mean, everything's easy to easy to do. Throw it. I like it, but not really. I don't know. That's a major thing. Isn't it? Quite high the bathtub. And then it goes to the fabric and then the mesh. Well, as you can see, I've shut this. We've got this block in the window, and that's keeping the beasts out. Albeit they're coming in the other door, but you know. It's nice and airy, so the two of them are closed. You've still got a lot of airflow coming through there. And I think there's ties there. You can maybe wrap, tie them around the poles. I didn't, uh, nah, I wouldn't have thought that. What would be the point of that? They're all clipped on. It may just be for added security, tie them on. I didn't like, I thought that was to tie the door back. <laughs> yeah. It's big, definitely two man. It's long enough, I'm sitting up right at the top now, and there's the feet, and the feet are at the bottom. And you've got another foot after my feet. Another foot after my feet, that sounds wrong. But you know what I mean. I've got my backpack in here as well. Plenty of room, like, loads of space for one. And uh, definitely enough for two, another person gets their own door. So that's a, that's the inner the size of it. Right, so it's quite windy, and that's just holding firm. Good in the wind, absolutely solid. It's a little bit noisy, but that's nothing. You can live with that as long as it's not going anywhere. I'd say the wind was about 15 mile an hour, 20 mile an hour gusts. And it's just taking it. So it's a good design for that. The only test I haven't done is the rain test. I don't know how waterproof it is. It's gotta be waterproof, isn't it? It's gotta be. Yeah, it's quite impressive, like. Loads of space inside. It was nice getting uh, all my stuff sorted, packed up inside there. It was a lot better, a lot easier. Right, I'm gonna knock it down because I'm freezing. So. After all that, after that one one camp only mine, to sum up, would I recommend this tent? I would recommend it if you're just starting out and you're looking at like nature hike tents or um, you know like about a hundred pound budget tent. I would recommend it. I've written them down. The pros, right? The pros are the two doors. That was really nice, that all dead area, not no condensation. The space in it was great for one person. Um, for two people, probably be all right if, you, if you're close. Um, it's cheap enough, 100 pound. I'm not sure, it goes between 79.99, I've seen it, and 100 pound, I think, I don't know. It's about 100 pound anyway. It's stable, steady in that wind, it was really rock solid, like, I put it up without the guy lines on and you could see in the video it wasn't moving 
I don't know how we're performing really high winds. It's not it's not solo performance or you know like a more expensive 250 300 pound tent. You've got to be careful where you pick and choose to go up. One of the other things was it was dead easy to put up. It's got them clips and the, the top clip was like a um it was like a crossover thing. I should have filmed that really, but it was it was easy to put up. First time I put it up and it went up straight away. And then easy to take down as well. Just take it down, make sure you get the width of the bag and then roll it up and it goes straight back in the bag. You can put the poles in that in the bag. But I like to spread the weight around so I have the poles in the back of my rucksack and the pegs in a separate pocket. That spreads the weight rather than having it all on that. So that's only like one and a half kilos, 1.6 kilos. The cons, right? I've got to say it, there was no porch really to speak of. Um, cooking inside the tent, you've always got to be careful doing that. So that's one to watch out for. I mean, you can't do it, you can't cook inside the tent, but you've got to be dead careful. You've got to be careful cooking inside tents. I don't recommend it. If it's a nice um, summer's day or it's still, even in the winter, if it's still and there's no wind, you can cook outside. Um, it is heavy-ish for a backpacking tent. I mean, it's 2.3 2 kilos. 2.3 kilos, but that includes the poles as well. And like I say, if you spread it around your tent, it's it's neat, no heavier than a than a normal tent. Like my solo is 2.2, I think. Maybe it's more, 2.4 even. And I never I never really bothered about the weight. Um, that storage loft thing inside, which was broken off, that's points off for that, but I'm sure they're not all like that. If it is, just send it back. And I'm unsure, there's an unsure about how waterproof it is. So that might be the next test. I'm going to take it out again on uh, Friday coming. And if it rains, it rains. I'll get back about that. But this, I can't mention the waterproofness. I think the hydrostatic head's 2,000. Which, you know, is really all you need. 2,000 hydrostatic head is quite high. And the, um, I think the footprint, the, the bottom of the tent, the floor, it's about 3,000. I don't know. It's all on the website. I'll put the links in anyway. You can go and check out the details, all the specifications are there. There's a few reviews on Amazon. But that's it. So, would I recommend it? Yes, to the right person. If you're looking for a, a wild, wild mountain summit in crazy extreme conditions tent, no. But if you're looking for just mild, get yourself into wild camping, then yeah, it's good. I like the space in it. Right? So that's it, that's my review. I mean, you put your comments in, any questions or all like that, follow the links. I don't get commission. If you do buy one, I don't get any commission. I just, you know, I'm just doing doing this as like a sideline. But yeah, it's not bad. It's light as anything, you know. 1.6 kilos, that's the that's the tent, that's the inner and the flashy. Right.